Hello, welcome to another Mad Hatter review. Turtle Tuesday. Wanted to talk about a few things, okay? Obviously, the uh, the, the NECA Farm 2-pack uh, that has uh, been officially, <clears throat> officially released with some pictures. We're going to go into that. Before we go into that, I just wanted to make everybody aware of... Uh, there's, so there's a lot of artists out there, and they're doing cool art, and they're doing things that I think uh, Ninja Turtle fans... Um, or, or fans of sort of like 80s, 90s cartoons uh, would just dig. So I wanted to spotlight two people or two two uh, projects that I think are real interesting. The first one is uh, one of the followers of the channel, Gilly. Gilly writes comics, uh, showed me this comic book. He actually gave me the, the first digital uh, uh, issue or compilation, what is it, Omnibus, whatever that's called, the graphic novel of this comic, Galactic Rodents of Mayhem, Okay. Um, I gave this a read. I thought it was great. It was just hilarious. It was just like a complete throwback of, you know, to like things, Ninja Turtles, but it's got its own thing. It's like these rodents in space. So it's a little bit of Ninja Turtles. It's a little bit of like Guardians of the Galaxy. Grom, uh, for short, is a comic book love letter. The Saturday morning cartoons of the 80s, 90s come for that warm, fuzzy feeling of nostalgia, but definitely stay for the mayhem. Uh, the writing is really funny. The art is awesome. Uh, they're not uh, rats, by the way. They're, uh, uh, what are those, uh, capy, capybaras? What, what are those things called? And uh, I read this. I was like, uh, this was like right up my alley. I would check it out. There's a Kickstarter that actually ends in five days. Um, looks like the Kickstarter got backed, uh, which is great. So congrats uh, to you, Gilly. But uh, uh, you can back this project um, if you go, I'll put a link in the description. So this was just a real fun one. If you're into Ninja, they even have their own theme song, which is just right out of the 80s and 90s. Check this out. Um, then the other thing is, uh, so uh, I got contacted by uh, uh, a, an artist from uh, from Mondo, okay, uh, of all things. You know, I've, I've had a few choice things to say about Mondo, not about their products, about uh, just trying to get some products, uh, in, in, in my case, Scareglow, which eluded me. But um, uh, this uh, artist, great, great artist, uh, J.J. Harrison, uh, contacted me. He said, hey, Manhattan, there's something I want to send you. I think you're going to like it. Okay. I was like, okay, if, if you think I'm going to like it, hey, I, I, I'll, 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 I'm, I'm in. I'll play. And then he sent me, I'm going to show it right here, this uh, 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 poster of Casey Jones, which is sort of like fashioned over, uh, uh, or not, or fashioned or based on the old Bo Jackson poster from the 80s where he's holding the bat. I fell in love with this thing. I have it here in my house. I'm going to get it framed, okay? And he's making, he made a small run of these Casey Jones maskless posters, and then he's going to do a, a few uh, with the mask on. If you're interested in it, uh, well, first off, follow his Instagram. Uh, also, follow Gilly Wright's comics. I'll put both their Instagrams in here. But follow JJ Harrison's Instagram. And he also has a Facebook group if you want to buy uh, the masked version that's coming out. I think the unmasked is sold out. But uh, it's called the No Refunds Art Club. And I'll put a link to that description. This thing is amazing. I'm, I think I'm going to get both of them. I want the unmasked version and the masked version. This is so cool. There are people out there just doing amazing shit. So if you're a fan of art, and I know a lot of you guys are... Go check out these cats, cause uh, I think uh, I think they're doing some 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 cool shit. So let's get into the announcement for Turtle Tuesday. All right, the uh, uh, NECA uh, has now officially announced. It got leaked before the uh, Farm Two Pack. Okay, let's just read the thing right here. Official announcement: Ninja Turtles 1997 scale Farm Two Pack. The foot the turtles and their allies. April O'Neil and Casey Jones retreat. To April's family farm to regroup. This seven scale action figure two pack includes all ver all new versions of April and Casey in their farm location clothing with the approved likenesses Judith Hogue and Elias Cote. Super articulated pack with farm specific accessories includes wrench, hammer, binoculars, sports drink, April's drawings, and more. You know that more doesn't seem to include an apple. Okay, I'm just saying Casey's eating an apple. Maybe put it into the pack. Okay, don't don't tell me. This is a yellow raincoat situation where you can't possibly afford a half-eaten apple. I know you can. So get it in the pack before it releases. Anyway, so here you can kind of see a pic of them. And uh, this looks like every 
uh, post every fight I've ever had with my wife where I'm just sitting there and she's looking at me. Uh, so I just thought this was sort of a funny, uh, funny pick. Uh, the thing about, so I think Casey Jones, his face, I got to do a comparison, I guess, in hand. His face looks the same. Hers, I believe, is the same too, except the hair is a little different. I know in this April, I think she's got like the swoosh, you know, her hair's all done up. Let's go to another picture here. Here's one of a Casey Jones. He's holding the Leo sword. I believe he's got the turtle wax. They're outside of some kind of farm facade, okay? And then you got April, so here's a better pic of her. Yeah, so the hair is definitely different hair, okay? But the face might be... This is her smiling face. The face might be the same face, but uh, it's definitely kind of just parted this way. And then obviously she's got the different clothing. She's got the uh, the skirt. She's got different knees, okay? Um, moving forward, this is her drawing the picture. This is a really cool shot. She's drawing an image, uh, the images of the Ninja Turtles. And uh, here's another one of the drawings. Here's the both of them, Casey Jones and April. Looks like, reminds me of that old farm picture, you know, with the farmer with the with the whatever, you know, you, you guys know the fucking photo. I'll, I'll put it up here. Um, anyway, continue to, to move on. Um, the, uh, uh, this is them outside of the van, okay? And uh, van confirmed? I, I don't know. Uh, but I think that might be too much of a reach just to do this van. Although, I mean, they're making a lot of things. I can, may, maybe they'll do it. I, who knows? Who knows how deep they go into the 1990 uh, TMNT line? I know some people not too happy about the Casey Jones elbows, and eh, not a huge deal breaker for me, but uh, we uh, continue moving on. Here's them, you know, they're about to get into a fight. What is he, you know, princess? He's calling her all the names. And then here is the packaging, uh, April O'Neil, Casey Jones, and it shows all the different hands and everything. And um, this is going to be a Walmart exclusive. The best place to have exclusives is Walmart. Everybody knows that. So easy to find. Everybody's super helpful. Everyone that works there completely knows what you're talking about when you go to Walmart. So yay. Um, of course, that's untrue. But some of us, uh, there's a lot of people that got in on a link that came out in June, July. I mentioned this in my last video. Who knows if that link gets honored? Who knows if that gets sent out? I'm expecting a big old fat cancellation email and, um, and uh, you know, having to hunt this down in Walmart, which always sucks. I, I rarely find anything in Walmart. I always end up, ambulance outside, always end up trading, <clears throat> trading for Walmart shit. But who knows? We'll see. Maybe they up the distribution on this. Um, I, and I know people are finding more shit. Holy shit, just fucking passed by my house. Um, I know that people are finding more shit at Walmart, but I live in LA and here it sucks. I'll, I'm just giving you my perspective on it. And yeah, uh, a lot of people in the talk back seem to like this. Uh, very cool. I, I you should read the talk back. I don't do it that much. Uh, yeah, people talking about they were up for pre-order. Still haven't seen Ultimate Casey. <laughs> uh, gray sweatpants is packing. <laughs> uh, uh, thank God we don't have to listen to everyone cry about her knees again. Yeah, okay, all right, buddy, yeah, that's great. I like the guy who's, like, above it all, who's like, everybody's crying. Uh, are we crying? Are we crying because we say that puppet knees look like puppet knees? Okay, do, do you see tears uh, coming out of my eyes? No, it's called a complaint. It's just a complaint, pal, all right? That doesn't mean, well, so, so what, you just stay silent? Yeah, that's much better, okay? I don't like this, but I'm going to stay silent. I'm not going to say anything because I don't want to be accused of crying. No, okay, you, you tell, you tell, you know, if your burger... It's cooked all shitty. You go to the waiter and you say, hey, this burger's cooked all shitty. You don't just fucking sit there and just eat it, okay? That's what you want to do. You just want to eat the, the shitty burger. No. You say, hey, this burger sucks. You go, hey, these knees need fixing. And guess what? We're obviously in the right because the knees got fixed, okay? So that's what all our crying does, okay? You, uh, commenter, all right? No, nobody's fucking crying, okay? We're not fucking crying. Anyway. I digress. I get passionate about this stuff. I hate, I just hate when everybody just like anything you say, there's just such company like, no, 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 just everybody just stay silent. We gotta, we gotta say everything's great. No, sometimes stuff is not great. But anyway, I digress. So Turtle Tuesday, <clears throat> Casey Jones, April Farm two pack. 
Okay, um, how far are we gonna go? Should I do like a little farm facade and just, you know, have them uh, standing there? I do like some of those photos. And, uh, you know, I'm sure it'd be easy to doctor up. You get like a van and do paint it white and kind of doctor it up, but it's like, I don't know, how far do I wanna go? Although, although, I wouldn't mind having, uh, recreating the Donatello uh, Casey Jones scene where they're all sort of trading barbs and all right, uh, you know, gack face and all that, that one might be nice. I think I'd rather do that than, I don't know, maybe uh, aggressive massaging and uh, something like that, but I'll figure it out, okay? Anyway, uh, Farm 2-Pack coming out, local Walmart. That's it for now for Turtle Tuesday. I want to say they said there would be some extra shit that they were talking about, but maybe not. Maybe I'm just having like the Mandela effect and I just think I read that, but uh, let me know what you guys think about this. Comment, subscribe, drop me a like, all that good stuff, and we will see you next time. Bye-bye.